So for this video, I'm just going to show you how to make a bar graph in Sheets to represent your demographic information because you will be making bar graphs. As you know, I do not approve of pie charts, so do not do a pie chart, um, but we're going to do bar graphs and I'm going to use the example that I used in the previous video for biological sex. So if I want to create a bar graph, um, you, can, you can just go ahead and highlight the cells where you have the values that you'd like to create a bar graph for. So I'm gonna just highlight male, female, missing, and N. Um, you could do it as a percentage. So that's up to you if you'd like to instead use the percentage, but I'm gonna go ahead and just use the numbers of individuals and I've highlighted those. So I clicked, I didn't let go, move over, move down, highlight all of those. And I'm gonna say insert chart and Google likes to mess with me and give me a pie chart, but I do not want a pie chart. I never want a pie chart. So you're gonna click. And if it gave you a pie chart, you want to instead choose this column chart. If it doesn't give you that option um, right at the top, then you'll need to move down and go and click this column chart instead. It's the same thing. So to make this APA style, we're gonna do a couple different things here. I'm gonna delete, ooh, know what just happened there. Um, I'm going to double click on this n versus variable and I'm going to delete that because our title is going to be in the actual document, not inside the graph for it to be APA style. Um, I am going to change my chart style font. So I'm going to click on chart style and I'm going to go to serif, which is the same as Times New Roman. So notice that that now should match the font that you have in your document. I'm going to click on these lines. So when I click on them, it goes to the grid lines and ticks, and I'm gonna click on major grid lines, and then I'm gonna um, click on major ticks. So major grid lines should not be checked, major ticks should be checked. And notice that that got rid of the lines and I have a nice um, Y axis here. I'm gonna go now to horizontal axis, and I'm going to click on major ticks, and it added this nice axis there for me. I'm gonna change, I don't like these little ticks that are right there. So see where it says ticks position. I'm gonna change it from cross to none and that gets rid of those. And then I just have a few more things I need to do. So I need to change this N. And again, when I click on it, it goes directly to what I need to edit. So I'm gonna say, um, this is the number of respondents. You could also say frequency, number of participants, but we want to identify that this is the number of people who fall in these different categories. Uh, instead of variable, I want to put the actual variable name, which in this case is biological sex. And there we go. Um, this is mostly ready. Uh, you can keep the colors here. You could modify the colors. One other thing that you might want to do is um, in this customization chart editor, you can go to series and you can add data labels and see how it added numbers inside. Um, I like to make the position outside end and then I make the text color black. Uh, if you do want to change the colors of your columns, you can click on them. You can change the fill color to black or gray or whatever color you feel is appropriate. Don't make it too crazy. You want colors to be meaningful, um, which for this, we're not like focusing on a specific biological sex. So we wouldn't highlight with a different color necessarily, um, but we just wanna create a nice clean chart. So here is a bar graph that is in APA style. And we can see that it represents the number of males, females, and um, individuals who did not list their biological sex. And that's it for this video.